right, so this video is going to show you how to um, put a password or code on your transcript. Um, the password itself will make it so users cannot view the transcript without entering the password that you put in. The unlock code will make it so users can't do certain features such as saving the transcript or printing it. Um, after you send it to them. First I'm going to show you how to put a unlock code or password on your transcript. We can see that I have a transcript already imported. You would want to right click and go to transcript properties. Then you're going to click on the security tab. These feature lockouts are what the unlock code, that's where the unlock code comes into play. Um, you can see there's five different features that users would not be able to do if you have an unlock code um, on your transcript or one of the feature lock codes on your transcript. Uh, for this example, just pick a couple and hit apply and then OK. Um, right now we can't see the unlock code. If we want to see what that unlock code is to send it to one of your customers, you can right click on this menu and do choose columns and then you'll scroll down to the unlock code portion and click on that. That's going to put the unlock code in the visible columns and here we can see what the unlock code is. So if you didn't want your customer to be able to save the transcript or print anything off before they paid you um, and they needed the transcript as soon as possible, you could still send it to them and they wouldn't be able to do a whole lot more other than view the transcript. Um, and then you can give them this unlock code after they paid you or after whatever agreement you came to is fulfilled. You could give them the unlock code and they would be able to do those things that you had locked out. To send them the unlock code, you can right click here and choose the copy unlock code to clipboard. All that's going to do is store the unlock code so when you open up your email, you can right click and do paste. I'm going to open up Notepad for this example um, because I don't have my email installed on this machine. But you would send out the email. Um, the unlock code is, and then you can right click and choose paste, and that will paste in the unlock code, and you can send that to them. The other option is you can also go to edit and choose the copy unlock code to clipboard. That's going to do the same thing as right clicking it here and choose the copy unlock code to clipboard. The other option that we have with locking a transcript is the password. So if we go to transcript properties, choose security again, we can make it password protected. I'm going to uncheck those. Um, and when we uncheck those, you can see the unlock code goes away. So now this transcript is no longer locked and one of your customers will be able to do any of those options, such as printing it or saving it themselves. The password would not allow a user to see the transcript um, without giving them a password. So I'm just going to make this password test one, two, three. I'll hit OK. Um, we're going to do the same thing in order to see the password as we did the unlock code. We're going to right click and go down to choose columns and then we're going to select password. So if you ever did put in a password and you forgot what it was, you would be able to see what the password you entered was. Um, this will also be the same thing as if you sent the customer what you thought the password was and it wasn't working for them, you could confirm it by right clicking and seeing what the password you put in was. Um, this would be the same thing as sending the the unlock code, you can right click and do copy password to clipboard, or you can go up to the edit and do copy password to clipboard. And you would do the same thing in the email. You would just right click and do paste, and that's going to paste in the password. 
Um, for security purposes, we recommend never sending the password and the transcript together. Um, <clears throat> the password can be used for a very secure method of sending the transcript to someone, or it can be the same way um, that you would choose the unlock code as if they didn't pay you yet, but they needed the transcript right away. You can send them the transcript, um, and you can lock it with a password so you do get paid or whatever agreement you had gets fulfilled. The other option, like I was saying before, if it's a really sensitive matter within the transcript, you can lock it so if for some reason your email got intercepted by a third party, um, they wouldn't be able to view the transcript without this password. And that's why we recommend not sending the password with the transcript. Um, if you did send both of them at the same time and that email was intercepted, whoever got the transcript would be able to access the transcript right away with the password since it was included in that email. So yeah, this is how you would lock a transcript um, and how you'd be able to find the password or unlock code to send it to your customers.